Hey guys, welcome to another video on our YouTube channel. Today I'm doing a solo video because today I want to talk with you about some advices for a long distance relationship. Seven advices. Maybe six, let's see. So, all the advices are based on my own experience and I want to share with you. Advice number one, open communication. Communication is always the most important thing, so it's the key. It doesn't mean you have to talk for 12 hours a day, but you should fix some schedules for having a video talk or video call, for example. And in my relationship, we talk during yeah, the whole day. We send each other images when we are at the supermarket or at some selfies, something like that. So it's just a simple gesture or a sign that we think about the other person and that we integrate the other person in our everyday life. So I think it's really important and um, open communication means more than saying I love you or I miss you. Sure. It's also important, but there are so many things to talk about. I know sometimes it's really hard to find new topics, but just write down some things to talk about. For example, how do you think will your life be in 5 or 10 years? I think it's a good start for a discussion to... It's, maybe it's a bit philosophic, but it's a good way to learn more about your partner, the way he feels or think, or she feels or think. And um, yeah, use this time. Sometimes it's really hard. And do me a favor, if you talk about yeah, philosophic topics, don't write one line replies. I mean, there is no wrong and no right, and you can write your own opinion. There's nothing to be afraid of, and um, it's just a useful way to spend time together. It's, I think it's really good for a stronger connection to each other, and um, yeah, you can learn a lot about your partner. With open communication, I also mean no taboos, no secrets. So. Trust is also a really important thing, and trust can only be built with communication. How can I trust a person I don't know anything about? That's not possible. So, communicate, build trust. And open communication, for me personally, contains also money talk. A lot of people will say, oh my god, money talk. I can't do that, it's my private thing. Come on, let's Financial things belong to our everyday life, belongs to a relationship, especially when you plan to live together or get married. You have to pay the rent, you have to pay for food and your monthly expenses, so you can't avoid to talk about that. And one more thing, why it's important, to avoid false expectations. And believe me, false expectations are really dangerous in a relationship. I will give you an example. I know a couple. They live 12,000 kilometers apart. She's from Asia, he's from something in Europe. And um, I think he's a German also. And he sent a postcard to his girlfriend with his name. So a printed postcard. And, um, we have a famous castle in Germany, and it's Castle Neuschwanstein. And it was printed on the postcard. He sent it down to Asia, and on his next visit, the family from his girlfriend asked, Oh, you have a beautiful house! So, I think you know what I'm talking about. False expectations. And social media is also, I don't want to say guilty, but for example, open Instagram, type in Europe, Germany or some other spots in the Western world and 
The most pictures you will find are glossy and fancy images from tourist spots like the Eiffel Tower or Paris itself. And for someone who's never been there before, I think it's normal that the personal imagination about the Western world is everything is fancy, everything is brand new. The people there also have a good life, no money problems. I mean, Europe is expensive, so I think everybody should be rich. And of course, that's not true. Europe is really pricey compared to the Philippines in my case. In the Philippines, you can buy a main dish, so a real meal with rice and meat and some vegetables for 1 euro and 20, I guess. And in Germany, you have to pay 7 or 8 euro. So it's a really big difference. And um, so rent your car, you have to go to work. The public transportation in Germany, at least here in the southwest, is really bad. So you really need a car. And it's pricey. So even so, your own salary is much higher compared to a typical Filipino salary. It doesn't mean you're a millionaire. Your expenses are higher. So, this is really important to talk about that. It's nothing worse than having false expectations, being disappointed in the end. It's so simple to avoid that. We will get to number three, visit each other. I think it's normal for a guy to visit the girlfriend first, also for security reasons, but after a couple of meetings, you should show your girlfriend your own country. Show her your family, so she can meet and talk with your family. She will experience more about your own background, your school, and she will see that Europe is not always fancy and glossy. I mean, yes, a lot of people are complaining about Germany and Europe. Everything is pricey, regulated, and so on and so on. It is. But Germany, or Europe in general, it's a safe area and you can have a good life here. But I think you can have a good life everywhere. So don't rush with that. Just visit each other, see what area you like most, and decide together. So, my advice number four for you, plan trips together. I think it's also important to have an everyday life together, to test an everyday life when you visit, visit each other, especially if one person has to work. But you can plan trips together in advance, of course, so you have something to look forward to, something to spend time together, and it's really fun. For planning trips, we usually you have a note as a notebook. We will write down our destination with the activities we want to do, the flights and the accommodation. And we book our accommodation at booking.com, Airbnb, and we compare the flights with Skyscanner. So we also have a lot of trips in the future weeks. I think we have a trip for 2020 already. I'm not sure. But it's really fun and the good thing is you have a day to look forward to and just make sure when booking trips in far future that you can pay at the property. That means you can cancel it a couple of days before your arrival date just for the case. And yeah, it's really fun. We had we already had trips to Hong Kong to Bali, I guess, Thailand and some other trips within the Philippines. So, yeah, spend the time, plan together, and have a good time together. Why? Oh my god, today is not my day. It's the first time I made this video, I forgot to press the record button, and now I accidentally deleted my notes. So, advice number five was celebrate together. I mean, you're not physically together, that doesn't mean you can't celebrate together. Your monthsary, your anniversary, some other days like birthday, like Christmas. And it's really possible. You can have a dinner date, you can eat the same thing and have a video call. It's really possible. I mean, we live in 2018. We have so many ways 
You can order food to your girlfriend, so you can eat the same. You can send some gifts with snail mail, so a physically package. Or create a video. I mean, there are a lot of blogs out there with some advices for creative self-made gifts. It doesn't mean it has to be expensive. I mean, it's about something self-made, something customized, for example. And the most important thing is don't forget these dates. But it's not LDR specific, it's you shouldn't forget the dates also when you live together for years. So, yeah, advice number six, spend time together and do things together. I mean, you can watch Netflix, there are some cool apps out there. You can watch the same movie and if one of you has the stop button, the film will stop on both sides. You can chat during watching the movie and it's really fun. Or you can play games together, for example, Sims or SimCity, some building games. And that's really fun. Okay, I have to admit I deleted my Sims a couple of days ago because it was really boring. But it's not about the game, you can find a lot of things. It's just important to do some things together, some fun activities. I mean, if you are physically together, you go inland skating, you go out and taking a walk together. So it's not possible, that means we have to be creative. But of course it's possible. So, and the last advice, so advice number seven is have a goal. I'm not talking about a travel goal or a travel destination, I mean a big goal. And I think every goal in a relationship, in a long distance relationship, should be to end the distance. It doesn't mean you have to rush, but you should talk about that. You should talk about the different opportunities. Maybe you will move there, or your girlfriend will come to you. And um, I think it's always possible to set at least a year. Not a specific day, but for example, oh, let's keep that goal in three years. We want to end the distance and live together. So we have one big goal to look forward to, to work for. And even though you have a fight, and you're tired of being in a long distance relationship, you have a reason to stay strong and it's really, really important. So these were my seven advices. I hope it was a bit helpful. If not, just write a comment. And if you have some more advices, message me, write it down, subscribe it. And thank you for watching and I hope the next video will be our part two from our Cebu trip. So, Enjoy your weekend and see you the next time.